Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best option upcoming 2024 adventure motorcycles worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Triumph has announced the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 range, which includes the Tiger 900 GT, Tiger 900 GT Pro, and Tiger 900 Rally Pro. With each bike providing more of what the company says its customers have grown to love about the Tiger 900. Just like our latest generation Street Triple, while the Tiger 900 has had a big impact, we're never happy here at Triumph to rest on our laurels. James Wood, Triumph's Global Product Marketing Manager. Set at the unveiling of the new Tiger 900 lineup. As a team, we're always pushing forward on every key dimension, always looking to make it better. Triumph Chief Product Officer Steve Sargent also sang the bike's praises. The Tiger 900 already has an excellent reputation as an award winner and rally competitor, enjoying success against production motorcycles as well as purpose-built off-road machines, he said. In fact, the Tiger 900 Rally Pro was used by World Enduro Champion Ivan Cervantes, securing champion titles at the Baja Aragon Rally, 1000 Dunas Raid, and Basila Enduro in 2022. With such an impressive pedigree, we needed to set ourselves a high target to improve the new Tiger 900. were focused on raising the game in the middleweight category all over again. Wood said the new Triumph Tiger 900 range will deliver. More performance, more capability, more all-day comfort, and more attitude. Basically, a significant step up, all while maintaining and delivering that unique Tiger triple character, an easy, agile, dynamic ride. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022. The Piaggio owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased. Thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022.
The Piaggio-owned Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek Why the 2024 BMW M1000XR will be the wildest sports tourer out there. It aims to leave the Ducati Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak in the dust. The M1000XR first made headlines when BMW filed a trademark application for it way back in 2019. Four years later, the Bavarian giant has finally taken the next step and presented the M1000XR prototype for the 2024 model year. It is the third motorcycle in BMW Motorrad's auspicious M lineup, after the WSBK derived M1000RR and the world's most powerful naked, the M1000R. Though the full launch and specifications are still some time away, the official images give away a lot of juicy details about the S1000XR derived model. This, together with some not so subtle remarks from the bike maker, suggests it will be the wildest sports tour out there. Here's all you should know about it. The 2024 BMW M1000XR promises upwards of 200 horsepower. BMW's M badge is only meant for its fastest products, and the M1000XR is no different. The Bavarian giant has confirmed the MXR will boast the 999 cubic centimeters, inline four engine from the S1000RR. It will produce upwards of 200 horsepower which, coupled with its 491-pound curb weight and acropovic titanium can, helps it clock a top speed of 174 miles per hour. For reference, the currently on sale S1000XR produces 165 horsepower, weighs 498 pounds, and comes with an electronically restricted 161 miles per hour top speed. Top speed aside, the increased horsepower will be more usable too, thanks to BMW's shift cam technology. It's the company's jargon for a variable valve timing system fitted with a differential valve lift that helps improve combustion and efficiency. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, 
but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the EICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the six-speed gearbox. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300 GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250 GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cool boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is a claimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a six-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The 
the certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code. SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 RPM. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 millimeters. That's 5 millimeters, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twin's current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF-1000L to CRF-1100L for the 2020 model year. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere the 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface. The T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals. The 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter. The T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. For 2024, the Tuareg 660 looks sexier than ever. There are three new shades on offer, namely Atriides Black, Canyon Sand, and Dakar Podium. The first option drapes the ADV in a sinister black livery, while the second one comprises a sandy finish on the bodywork. Both have a red finish for the trellis frame to add a pinch of sportiness. The crown jewel, meanwhile, is the Dakar Podium livery. As the name suggests, it pays homage to Aprilia's third-place finish in the 2010 Dakar Rally and takes inspiration from the RX V 4.5 race bike. The livery is a blend of white, blue, and red finishes, topped by thick black stripes and a red chassis. As good as this looks, 
we think the Italian giant could have slapped on some extra tidbits for an even spicier aesthetic. Since its debut in 2021, the Aprilia Tuareg 660 has been one of the top players in the middleweight adventure bike biz. It goes fast, rides well, and promises exceptional off-road abilities. All this is now being carried forward to 2024, as the Noali factory has taken the wraps off the updated Tuareg 660. Not a fan of the new shades? Then, you'd be happy to know Aprilia has also retained the 2023 colors. So you can get the motorcycle in acid gold, Martian red, and in Deco Talgemist options. The first two have dual tone seats, color matched with the liveries. Nothing has changed under the skin. The Tuareg 660 continues to employ Aprilia's 659 cubic centimeters, twin cylinder powerhouse. It produces 79 horsepower and 51 pound feet, all sent to the wheel via a six speed transmission. The engine is nestled inside a steel trellis frame that suspends on 43mm Kayaba upside-down forks and a monoshock from the same company. Both ends are fully adjustable, while offering 9.44 inches of travel. This is topped by 21 18-inch lace spoke wheels. Suzuki has launched the 2024 V-Strom range in the USA. The Japanese ADV has been offered in two variants, Standard and Touring. The bike has been updated on the mechanical and cosmetic front for 2024, and here's what we know about it. While the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800 has carried forward the same design, it is now available in new paint schemes. The standard trim comes draped in metallic matte steel green. while the Turing model gets glass sparkle black. That said, the vertically placed LED projectors topped by a transparent visor, and the slim bodywork remain unchanged on the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800. It's powered by a 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled motor that's linked to a six-speed gearbox. However, Suzuki is yet to reveal the power figures for the latest model. We expect it to be the same as before 83 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters. The 2024 V-Strom 800 rides on Showa separate function fork big piston front forks and a Showa rear shock absorber with remote preload adjustability. Its braking hardware comprises dual 310mm front discs and a single 260mm rear disc with ABS. These are mounted on 19-inch front and 17-inch rear cast aluminium wheels shoot in Dunlop tires. Then, the list of rider aids on the new model includes a 5-inch TFT and Suzuki's intelligent ride system to access traction control, ABS, ride modes, easy start, and low RPM assist. Those wanting a faster Multistrada than the V4S, Pikes Peak, Rally, and Grand Tour have had their prayers answered in the 2024 V4RS. Ducati is claiming a plainly bonkers 180 horsepower out of the $37,995 MSRP RS, which, unlike the aforementioned models listed above, 
uses the Panigale V4S and Street Fighter V4S's 1,103 cubic centimeters Desmosetisize straight ale engine as opposed to the ubiquitous 1,158 cubic centimeters motor. The RS gains the same high flow air filter as the chart topping Panigale V4R Superbike and the billet aluminum STME VOSBK dry clutch, but weight saving has been a main aim of the RS gain. To that end, there's 6 pounds taken off the now lithium-ion battery, a 5.5 pound lighter titanium subframe. And 6 pounds have been shed from the now forged aluminum Marcassini wheels, and as we all know, less unsprung mass means more fun in the corners. The RS gets every Ducati electronic gizmo you'd expect, adaptive cruise control ACC and blind spot detection BSD, Bosch inertial measurement unit. Four power modes with the extra race riding mode that gives the full whack of the V4 motor in all six gears. Four ECU modes of race, sport, touring, and urban. Traction, wheelie and engine brake control, quick shifter, and a 6.5 inch TFT display that allows phone mirroring via the Ducati Connect app. V4 Multis have always been good at knee dragging, but this one looks like it's up the ante somewhat.